Welcome to another special episode of Air Gun Detectives. So we have a little um, different episode for you today. Um, as you know, a while back I did a uh, review on the Hassan 30 caliber, the most powerful brake barrel on the market. And of course I got some feedback from people um, thinking, well, no, we think the Gamma Swarm is the most powerful uh, brake barrel or air gun. So you know what I'm going to do today? We are going to let the Gamma Swarm challenge the hits on 30 caliber. And how we're going to do this, we're going to let the math speak for itself. We're going to do a crony test at from the muzzle. We'll get a reading coming out of the muzzle. We'll get a reading at 20 yards and a reading at 40 yards. In all fairness, we're going to try um, two separate pellets for each gun. Um, the Gamma, we're going to go with the 14.66, which is the most accurate pellet in this gun. But we'll also go with the JSB 18.13 um, grain. In the Hassan, we're going to do the 44.75 grain JSB, and we're also going to go along with the 50.15 JSB. And so let's, we're going to do a nice even comparison, and we'll find out if the Hassan can still hold the heavyweight title or not. Now in all fairness, what I did was I wanted to make sure that the, um, the gas piston in the Hassan was where it's supposed to be. I don't know if you guys know this, but you can actually charge the gas piston in this. If you have the, the actual Hassan, the little um, PCP filler valve, and a pump or a, or a scuba tank, some type of air source, you can actually make sure the piston in this is where it's supposed to properly be. It can go up to 150 bar. It's marked on that on the inside. And the way you do it is you just, um, you obviously take the, the uh, stock off and there's actually a filler hole on one side of, of the uh, main tube here. And on the other side, there's a release valve. So all you did is I just made sure it was at 148. That's all I did. I just topped it to make sure it was at 148 because we want to get the best performance and, and uh, to see how well that does. And I did a couple of test shots and it seemed it seemed to shoot a little bit better even than the review that I did previously. So let's go out and let's uh, let let the challenge begin and let the cards fall where they fall. All right, we're going to start with our uh, Gamo Swarm. We're going to shoot the 14.66 grain. Uh, field target trophies. We'll do five shots over the crony. This is we're checking muzzle velocity right now. It's going to be our first step. Is muzzle velocity? All right. Shot number one. 907. Shot number two. 906. Shot number three. 907. Shot number four. 9-11 and shot number five. 9-07. Okay, now let's try the heavier pellets. All right, now we're going to try the uh, JSB Exacts, the heavies, the 18.13. Let's see what type of muzzle velocity we get out of those. Shot number one. 802. Shot number two. 809. Shot number three. 809 again. Shot number four. 808. And shot number five. 803. Pretty good standard deviation. But let me show you. This is our average foot, foot per second and foot pounds of energy from the muzzle. Okay, now we're going to check our muzzle velocity with our Hudson 135-30 caliber. We're going to start out with the 44.75 grain pellets. Five shots over the crony. Let's see what we get. Shot number one. 561. Shot number two. 564. Shot number three. 562, shot number 4, 560, and 
shot number five. 558. Well, that's a really good standard deviation, too. All right, let's go on to the 50 grain pellets and see how they perform for muzzle velocity. Okay, now we'll shoot five with the 50.15 JSBs. These are a 50.15 grain pellet. Yeah, that's a big piece of lead. Let's see how we do with five shots of this. 525. 522. 527. That's three. This is four. 527 again. That standard deviation of both these guns are really good. And last but not least. 528. Yeah, it's really good standard deviation. Okay, now you can see what the uh, muzzle velocity is and the foot pounds out of the barrel. Now we're going to go to 20 yards and compare the two. For our usual 20 yards out, which you've seen our accuracy at this point, so from 20 yards, let's see what type of feet per second we get and our foot pounds of energy. We'll start with our gamma, five shots out of this one. All right. Shot number one. That looks like, what, 826? Shot number two. 830. Now keep in mind, these are the 14.66 grain fill target trophies. These are the most accurate in this gun. Okay, shot number three. 827. You gotta love that standard deviation. Shot number four, 822, and let's finish it off with one more. Eight twenty. Okay, let's try the 18.13 grain from the same 20 yards and see what type of velocity it gets down there. Okay, now we'll try our 18.13 grain pellets through our gamma and see what type of velocity we get from 20 yards. See what type of foot pounds of energy. All right, shot number one. Uh, 774. Shot number two. You duplicate. 774. Shot number three. 772. Shot number four. 771. Wow. Check out that standard deviation, that is fantastic. And our last shot, 766. All right, so now look at these numbers as far as foot pounds of energy and uh, feet per second from 20 yards. Let's move on to the next segment and test our Hassan. Okay, now we're gonna give our Hassan a shot from 20 yards and we're gonna use the 44.75 grain. We'll shoot five shots. See how these GSB 44.75 do at the same 20 yards. All right, shot number one. 545. Shot number two. 537. Shot number three. Five thirty nine. Shot number four. Five thirty three. And last but not least, shot number five. Alrighty. Okay, so look at that feet per second and now those foot pounds of energy from 20 yards. Now let's try the heavier pellet. Okay, now we get to try the 50.15 grain JSB pellets in our Hitsan. 20 yards. 
Let's see how well we do. Five shots. Five oh nine. This is a fifty grain pellet coming out of a brake barrel. That was an error. Try it again. Of course we couldn't go through this thing without having an error in our chronograph. 507. Five oh nine. Five fourteen. Since we had an error, let's do one more. So we can get the average of five here. All right. And duplicate. Five fourteen. Okay, that's at 20 yards. That's our 30 caliber. Look at the uh, average feet per second and the foot pounds of energy there. Now we're going to move all the way out to 40 yards. Let's go on out there and see what we do. Okay, now we're from our usual 40 yards. Take a look at this. You can see the crony up there 40 yards away. So now we're going to shoot our gamo. Uh, we'll shoot the 14.66 first. We'll shoot five shots. Let's see what type of average we get over our crony. Hopefully it'll register. Let's see. Seven fifty three. That's good. Here's two. A little windy. I think that was what, seven forty nine? Trying to see it in the scope here. Yeah, okay. Shot number three. Duplicate. <clears throat> Shot number four. Seven fifty five and one more. <clears throat> Seven fifty. Okay, that's us from forty yards. Let's move up to the eighteen point one three and see what we get there. Okay, now let's try our 18.13 from 40 yards and see how well they do. All right, shot number one. Ah, looks like 732 to me. Shot number two. Seven thirty-three. Shot number three. That was an error. Of course it was an error. How do we not do this without an error, guys? Gals? All right. 723. We've got a couple more rounds in here. Let's see what else we can get. 725. Well, that should be enough for an average. That's our 18.13 grain. So you see what type of average feet per second we have and our foot pounds of energy at 40 yards. Let's go to the Hassan. Now we're going to try our Hassan 30 caliber 135, 40 yards out. Let's see what type of feet per second and foot pounds of energy we get out of this guy. We're going to start with the 44.75 grain JSBs. Remember, we don't have a big choice in pellets on these, but let's see how well we do. Five eleven. You're seeing how these heavier pellets hold their velocity even at this long distance. All right, shot number two. Five eleven again. I think. Oh no, that was an error. Of course, it was an error. Let's try this again. There you go. 509, I believe. That's two. Two that counted anyway. Go again. Okay. 
I don't know if that one read. Five eleven. Let's do one more. And five twelve. Okay, that's what our forty four point seven five did. You can see that velocity, foot pounds energy. Now let's finish up with the fifty grains and see how well we do. Okay, so our final round is the fifty point one five grains in our one thirty five. Let's see how well it does at forty yards. I said these are some big pellets. But let's see what we get. All right, shot number one. That's a 482. Shot number two. Shot number three. Duplicate, 41 again. All right, let's do two more. Okay. And I believe that was 41 again. Anyway, so that's our 50.15 grain, stretching it all the way out to 40 yards. So you see what our average feet per second is and our uh, foot pounds of energy. Give you guys a lot of math. So stay tuned, let's go to the next segment and I will wrap it all up and break it all down. We got our conclusion here. You saw how we put these two guns through our different distances. So let's, let's do a little bit of a breakdown here. First of all, before we go any farther, I wanna let you know, I really like both of these rifles. They're both terrific. You could not go wrong by owning either one of them or even better yet, both of them, but you can't go wrong. But let's break this down a little bit. Okay, so our Gamble rifle here, um, when we were shooting this at, right at the muzzle with the 14.66, um, we averaged 907.6 feet per second and we had 26.82 foot-pounds of energy. Okay, that's coming out of the muzzle. Now, um, roughly with the 18.13 grain pellets, we averaged 806 feet per second and we also had 26 foot-pounds of energy. So. Coming out of the muzzle, there wasn't a big difference between the 18 grain and the 14.66. However, once we move that back a little bit, we hit the 20 yard mark, the 14.66, um, we averaged 825 feet per second. And it gave us uh, right around 22 foot pounds of energy. That was with the 14.66. So the same distance at 20 yards with the gamo, with the 18.13, we averaged 771 feet per second, and we got a little bit more. We got 23.96, just under 24 foot-pounds of energy. So as you see, the 18.13 grain pellet only slowed down 34 feet per second from the time it was fired from the muzzle in comparison to the lighter pellet, which we lost a full 82 feet per second. So at 20 yards, by far, the 18.13 gave us more foot-pounds of energy. Um, at 40 yards, that was a bigger difference as well. So with the 14.66, we averaged 751 feet per second, and that gave us roughly about 18 foot-pounds of energy, okay? So we lost 156 feet per second going out 40 yards, so it dropped off 156 feet per second. Now the 18 grain pellet, we averaged about 728 feet per second, and that's out at 40 yards but we got 21.36 um, foot-pounds of energy. And so we only lost just under 78 um, feet per second from the time of the muzzle, compared to the lighter pellet, which we lost almost double that at 156 feet per second. So overall, the 18.13, the heavier pellet, would definitely be much better in the 20 to 40 yard range if you're hunting. Okay, so now the Hassan, let's talk about this. So the Hassan, um, we did the 44.75 pellet. Okay, out of the muzzle, that averaged 561 feet per second. We got a little over 31 foot-pounds of energy. And then with, with the heavier pellet, 
the 51.15 grain pellet. We got average 538 feet per second, and we got just under 29 foot-pounds of energy. So we got a little less foot-pounds of energy coming out of the barrel. However, then we move out to 20 yards. Now we're at 20 yards with the 44.75, we averaged 538 feet per second, but we got just under 29 foot-pounds of energy. So we only lost about 22 feet per second out 20 yards. Okay, with the 50.15 grain at the 20 yards, we averaged 510.6 feet per second. So it was traveling at 510.6 feet per second when it's hitting its target at 20 yards. That's 29 foot-pounds of energy. So you can see those two pellets are actually pretty close. They're pretty close. Now, out at 40 yards, um, the 44.75 pellet averaged 509.2 feet per second, okay? So we got 25 foot-pounds, actually just under 26 foot-pounds of energy at 40 yards with that 44.75 grain pellet. The 50.15 grain, we averaged 481 feet per second, and we got just, it was 25.8 foot-pounds of energy. It edged out the 44.75. So they were, they're pretty much even. And think about that, out at 40 yards, we only lost about 56 feet per second, okay? Only 56 feet per second. Compared to the Gamo, it lost anywhere between 156 and 77 feet per second. So, how about a comparison here? So, the Gamo, we averaged, if you take the average of all three distances, the muzzle velocity, the 20 yard velocity, and the 40 yard velocity, the Gamo got us right around 24 foot pounds. The Hassan, even though it's shooting at a much lower foot per second, between the average between the muzzle and the 40 yards, we actually got 28.7 .7 foot pounds of energy. We got a little over more than four pounds uh, more foot pounds of energy out of the Hassan than we did the Gamma. So that comes back to the whole theory as I explained to you in previous um, videos. That heavier pellet once you get it up and going, it has a tendency to slow down um, a lot less than the lighter pellets. So when it comes to hunting, foot-pounds of energy is everything. So the Hudson 130 still get a keeps, keeps its crown for the most powerful brake barrel um, rifle out there. It's definitely proven that, and the numbers speak for themselves. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It was something a little bit different, but it it kind of explains a little bit about the whole theory as far as um, weight of pellet versus feet per second versus uh, foot-pounds of energy. Just because the gun is screaming it has the greatest um, feet per second doesn't mean that's going to be the result once you're hitting your target as we explained that. So anyway, again, thank you for turning in to this episode of Air Gun Detectives. This is where we take the mystery out of the air gun. And until next time, thank you.